Roosevelt High School students and faculty, please stand for the playing of the national anthem. We are proud to welcome our special guests and representatives from the armed forces today. Presenting the colors will be Sergeant Payne of the U.S. Marines, Staff Sergeant Scott Garbin of the U.S. Army Reserves, and Specialist Chelsea Laster, also of the U.S. Army Reserves. Our national anthem will be conducted by Roosevelt High School Instrumental Music Director, Mr. Mark D'Angelo. I'm Angel Jacobs and I'm Ashley Olette and this is your Daily Dose for Monday, March 14th, 2016. That was a band playing the national anthem for their en contest entry. Let's all pull out our phones and vote at rhsfairdaily.com for our wind up marching chiefs. Seniors, the graduation list will be available until March 24th in the general office window. Are you going to be a Michigan State student in the fall? Well, there will be a student reception on April 5th. If you've been accepted, you must sign up by the in the CRC by March 26th. The City Hawkins Dance is going to be held on March 18th. Don't miss out. Have you ever wanted to be a part of newspaper or yearbook committee? If you are interested, applications are available in Ms. Haddad's room, C119. Pick up your application today. Scheduling for your classes next year is coming up. Juniors will choose classes today, sophomores tomorrow, and freshmen on Wednesday. Art is one of the many options for elective here at RHS. Here's what you can expect in beginner's art. Stop. Some people to the basement, many surprises await you in the basement. People in the basement, you hear the last time you know we're gonna find you. Sick in the car, sick as you're not up to going out on the main streets, completing our mission. You hear the last time you know we're gonna find you. Sick in the car, sick as you're not. Are you looking for some work experience prior to job hunting for the summer, volunteer hours, or just something to do with your free time? Members of the Henry Ford Hospital will be here March 22nd after school for a Q&A about volunteering opportunities. The meeting will be held in Ms. Jenkins' room. Come check out how you can make a difference. Moira Hall spoke to some of our Link Crew leaders about how it feels to be in Link Crew. There are a lot of responsible student leaders here at RHS. We're talking to a few of them who were great role models to our freshmen. How does it feel to be a Link Crew leader? Um, it's a really good feeling. I feel like I'm really helping out the school and a lot of the freshmen and getting them adapted to high school. 
I would say it feels satisfying and rewarding to be a Link Crew leader because I got to be one of the very few faces that the freshmen saw on their first day. Oh my gosh, I love Link Crew. Okay, it just, it feels so good because like, you know that you're helping all these freshmen because when you came in as a freshman, you were probably terrified. Like, you didn't know this building, it looks huge from the outside and I don't know, I just, I love it. I love Link Crew. I actually really enjoy being a Link Crew leader because I can impact freshmen's lives and so they're not as nervous to come around older kids. Was there anything you did that made you feel like you really made a difference? Right before Thanksgiving, I baked my kids cookies and I wrote a little memo. I was, it said something along the lines of, it's easy to forget that, what you're thankful for, but make sure you tell everyone thank you this season or something along those lines. I know that there's this one girl in, one of my, in my group who always says hi to me in the hallway and it always makes me feel really good. So I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I kind of brought her out of her shell. I think that during orientation when the kids would come up to me and like ask for classes or where their locker is, I thought that was really cool because they looked up to me. We definitely have some great leaders here at our school. Now back to the anchors. Sounds great to be in Link Crew. Thanks, Moira. April is Sexual Assault Awareness Month. To raise awareness, there will be a presentation for women only immediately after school in the cafeteria this Wednesday. There will be a raffle drawing at the end of this event. Hey there, RHS. I'm Destiny with your sports report. Boys varsity basketball played in their district final on Friday night at Carlson. Boys swimming and diving competed in states this weekend as well. More on both of those events tomorrow. Softball tryouts are being held today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. Freshman trial at 4.30 in the new gym. Sophomore, junior, and seniors trial at 5.30 in the old gym. All other spring sports are are, are getting underway as well. Man, it's so nice outside. I wish I had something to do this spring. I know, me too. The sun's shining and we're stuck in school. It just sucks. I know. Ugh. Well, have either of you considered any of RHS's wonderful spring sports? No. No, I haven't. There's tennis, hockey, baseball, track, golf, rowing, softball, and girls soccer. So, will either of you be doing any spring sports this year? Oh yeah, for sure. Thanks, Josh. Happy birthday to Juan Flores, Matthew Sutherby, and Evan Valmere. Now here's a quote to start off your day. Continuous improvement is better than delayed perfection. I've been Angel Jacobs. And I've been Ashley Olette. Stay, Stay improving, improving, RHS. RHS.